Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about how to get Nightmare. So Nightmare is something that you use to upgrade your aspects and weapons and such things like this. As you can see, I have the aspect of Cersei, which I can use one Nightmare for, which I just collected, to upgrade it so that the Serenity buff that you gain goes from 6 seconds to 7 seconds. Now, in my opinion, this build and this aspect is not that great, but having more Serenity duration is definitely what would make it better. So you can see that having Nightmare will be very very beneficial to upgrading your weapons for instance the aspect of pan is one i've been focusing on and this allows the sister blades to you know when you cast your cast and trap people in there your arrows will seek them i call them arrows because it's just easier but you will get plus one arrow or blade every time you upgrade this using nightmare so that is very important because this in my opinion is the easiest weapon to actually beat chronos with but all these other weapons have different buffs. Some of them you don't even need Nightmare for, at least probably until you're a certain rank on that aspect. So how do you get Nightmare? And basically, after you beat Kronos for the first time, this will be delivered to your overworld. This is your heat difficulty system. In this game, it is called Fear, and you have to give testaments to activate certain things for you to be able to get this Nightmare buff. So on the left, you can see that I have five bosses with five portraits, a weapon underneath them and a testament level above them so for instance using the weapon that i have now i will need to fight Scylla and the band and use two testaments testaments over here on the right do different things for instance over here the vow of you rebuke all foes have zero barrier hearts if i click that once i get plus one fear but also now they have one barrier heart and that basically just means that they take an extra attack to start doing damage to them if i do that twice you can see now that Scylla's portrait highlights for me so i now just need to use this weapon and defeat Scylla and the band to be able to get a nightmare drop for me so I believe the way this will work is, is once you have used a weapon a certain amount of times and got a certain amount of nightmares, it's going to require more testaments and more fear to be able to activate the boss portrait for you to get that nightmare. So the more you use one type of weapon, the more it's going to take to get that nightmare. And you can see I've never used the torches and I've barely used the skull, even though I love it. So they're still at one testament. I believe that how it works anyway. I haven't invested enough time in this to actually know, but that's the thing that makes logical sense to me. In my opinion, the Cyclops is the easiest boss to farm. It's fast to get there. It's an easy boss if you know what you're doing. So for me today, to get the Cyclops, I'd have to do the Sister Blades. And I would need to have two Testaments, as you can see over there on the left. So if I just add two of them in, he's now highlighted, ready to go. I just need to use the Sister Blades, go kill him. And I am going to get some Nightmares. So when you're first getting into this system, I believe the easiest things, in my opinion, are the Vow of Rebuke, which just adds an extra hit to enemies, or two hits if you invest two into it. We have the Vow of Arrogance, which whenever you choose a boon, you prime five magic for every rarity that's greater than common so later on in the game you're going to be priming 30 to 40 probably every single time you pick up a new boon however if you are building into magic this is going to counter it pretty easily and also as well the vow of desperation throwing one into there nine minutes to get through each region absolutely doable if you know what you're doing in this game you can probably even go twice and get it to seven minutes and still be able to get this done also an interesting one, the Vow of Haunting. Most slain foes have a 25% chance to becoming a revenant. And basically revenant respawns. So they'll drop a little item on the floor. As long as you pick it up, you won't ever have to worry about them coming back. So that's another good one. There's a lot of things here that you can pick and choose though. It's up to you. And that's about it. Just a, a short little video talking about Nightmare. I've had a few comments asking me how to get it. So I just thought I'd make a video on it for anyone who, you know, needs to find where to get it and then once you've also unlocked it you can then buy it from the broker for 1000 bones i believe let me just go and check yes 1000 bones so once you've bought and got everything else and you don't need certain materials you're just going to be focusing on getting a thousand bones to get your nightmares so i hope this helped anybody if this helped you you know hit the like button leave a comment tell me what you think and yeah so thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome